So, hey, I've been waiting on Chris and Zach. Um, I told you guys about the, this gentleman on the live stream last time uh, I logged on, and he's asking for a sponsorship. So, I figured we'd take the day, get to know Zach a little bit. Uh, he's been buying from us for a long time. He's really been supportive on social media, Instagram, and YouTube, and all that stuff. So, and I think. Uh, you know, seems like a good kid. So we're going to get to know him a little bit better, take him fishing. The weather kind of screwed up everything. They were calling for 12 to 15 mile an hour winds, thunderstorms all day and early. So we were going to go out in Lake Kissimmee. We scratched that idea due to the winds. And then, of course, we were going to get on the boat this morning. Yeah, it didn't happen. Hey, well, look who decided to show up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, look, look, there's even, there's that. Look at that, all smiling, they all happy, they did, they did show up, uh, but 11 minutes late. Hmm. It's not a good start for you guys. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you guys, what, y'all dressing like me or something? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Come on, man. Is that what this is about? <laughs> dude, he shows up to my house and I'm like, nice shirt, dude. What's going on? I'm What's glad up? you guys can make it. What? Never do, caught a snook. I'm doing my intro. Never I'm caught like, a snook. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna go snook fish. I'm like, Zach, what's your biggest snook? You ever catch a snook? He's like, no, I've never caught one. I'm He's like, gotta get a five fish limit today and uh, snook. We're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, grab that bucket real Chris, uh, quick, Chris, and we'll, uh, just in case. And I think, uh, damn, dude, I'm gonna get on Travis's ass. Have him <laughs> detail your truck next time. He's messed it all up. Yeah, just push all that stuff to the side, buddy. Cuban as well. So what are you doing? Small large one. Uh, large. How big is it actually? 11 inches. Oh crap. That's what you like. We'll just go with it. <laughs> I need some food. <laughs> what you want to do bro? Uh, just, just natural orange juice, go back with leche. Just the water. Water and water? I know you recommended the orange juice but Wow, you went against keep, my recommendation. Keep my figure. <laughs> I hope you don't catch a fish today. Oh, look at this food, guys. What do you think about that for breakfast? Woo! All right. I would really like Just it. Just finished breakfast. It was good. Chicken fingers. Hey, he got chicken fingers and fries, guys. I kid you not. Zach over here has never caught a snook. Now, you know why he's here. So, he's got to catch a five. Fish limit, 40 pound bag, and uh, he's gonna have two hours to do it. Hey, there's a first for everything. <laughs> Why two hours? Why not like 45 minutes? 45 minutes is probably, Ooh. that's probably a little more. That's like 10 pounds a minute. <laughs> Can you do that, Zach? 10 pounds every 10 minutes. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Stay tuned. No idea. Nor do I know. It's it's called Mevago Latin Cafe Mevago. <laughs> all right, now that we're all stuffed, we're gonna go get a couple lures, and we're gonna get going. <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> Everyone's got. It. Everyone's got. It. Everyone's got. You're up. We we got nicknames for everyone, man. So the jig. That's just the. Ah oh, man. <clears throat> hey guys, so we need some new baits, some flare hawks. What do you think, Avatar? I mean, I've never fished for snook, so I'd tell you something you probably laugh at. <laughs> oh, man. We don't laugh at people. What, well, white and red? It's a little scroll, man. It's a little heavy, though. It's gonna be between this and like 
this guy here. Yeah, I think it's a ladyfish, so wrong species. It's a lady, yeah. There he goes. I'm listening to you though, bud. Yeah, I donated one year of my services to the My Warriors Place. Nice. So I, I think I'm better at the first responders. Very cool. So, uh, and I'm 100% better than myself, so it's, uh, it's been very beneficial to me. And it's not money wise. Right. It is bait. Yeah, I know. We didn't bring any big gear though. Actually, I, we weren't even going to stop right here, to be honest. We were going straight to the beach. I'm surprised you ain't hitting these high tides for these redfish. Man, I'm tired of beating the bushes right now. I, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I, uh, I like my snapper, grouper, you know. Yeah. Well, you want us to jump on and do some video for you? Yeah, come on. That ain't part of the plan today, but it'll be something different. Get you some exposure on YouTube. Well, you're welcome to do it, sir. You want to do it? You got room for these guys over here? I don't mind at all. All right, man. We'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll make something of it here. Right. Hey, boys. Y'all want to get the uh, fishing gear, man? We're going to go uh, fish with this gentleman for a few hours. All right, so we've had a plot twist, boys and girls. Chris Privat is out here. He's a charter captain. We just stopped at the boat ramp. We were gonna go and head to the beach, but he invited us out, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Go we'll spend a few hours out in the water with him. Oh yeah. And uh, I don't know what Zach's challenge is anymore. Yeah, it's changed. <laughs> Hang on. Because <laughs> you know how we do, Chris. It's a fly by the seat of your pants kind of moment, huh? Yeah, don't <laughs> You're used to it, right? Some days. <laughs> oh, man. We don't know what Zach's challenge is anymore. I don't know. It's changed pretty quick. Sure. Try not to dirty up his up. boat, guys. All right. <sighs> Just rent. It's filthy, man. I had it in storage. So I oh, you're fine, man. I got a little bit of. I did get a few shrimp just for. Because I like to. Uh, Never hurts. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So just like the uh, Josh said earlier, plans have drastically changed. So I'm gonna pass it over to him, and he's gonna tell you what's going on. Well, right, guys. So we didn't come out in the boat today, and you see why? Because there's 20 mile an hour winds, and there's thunder showers everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's really bad. But hey, Chris is out here. It's Captain Chris. And tell us a little bit about your charter business, bud. Um, my name's Captain Chris Prevat with Cracker Jack Inshore Charters. I am a 100% disabled veteran. And I was fishing five to seven days, or five, three to five days a week. And my wife said, hey, listen, you have an expensive hobby. You need to go ahead and get your <laughs> license. So I'm one of those kind of captains. You know, the new captain, the that's, newbie. That's awesome. So by doing that, um, I wanted to be able to give back, and I donated on um, February the 12th at my Warriors Place in Ruskin, Florida. I donated one year of my services nice. to taking out veterans and first responders. And i got to tell you, ever since February 12th, I've been able to get up with a purpose. That's awesome. Uh, 2008, I had brain surgery um, from the VA. I won't get into the long story, but the VA gave me some medicine, swelled my brain up, had to have brain surgery. It took me out of the work workplace. It took me out of the workplace and uh, had to learn how to walk and talk again. So getting my captain's license was a great accomplishment. And to be able to give back to these veterans and every once in a while make a little bit of money yeah. on a paid charter. Absolutely. You know, to pay for my wonderful hobby and passion of fishing um i can't tell you how happy i am oh, that's awesome yeah thanks for having me yeah definitely guys hey we'll leave all his information below uh you on instagram and facebook and all that good stuff yes i'm on facebook uh facebook 
Cracker Jack and Short Charters. And on Instagram, I am on it's crackerjackfishing.com. Uh, I'm sorry, at crackerjackfishing. Well, we're going to link everything below so you'll be able to see it. So check him out, guys. Give him a follow. Dump, doing good things out here. It's a beautiful day. Uh, this wasn't really planned, so I don't know. We're going to go out, see what we get on. Stay tuned. Should be a good time. I don't feel like a catfish. Feels like a little trout. But then again, little trout. All right, look how pretty that baby is. Beautiful little trout. Look at that. Gosh. You see how, oh my goodness, he's right here. Get on that, Zach. That's a good, that was a good fish. Yeah. And he's right under the boat. Yeah. Oh man, I love it, man. I'd rather be 150 degrees outside than that. That cold weather, my body's like a barometer. And it, the aches and pains that I have, man. Thank you. Look at that frog. Look at that bird, you got him one. Nice fish, little buddy. There you go. Oh, he's got a, pre he's got a pretty, pretty little blue tail too. Well, we got someone literally coming right up on us. Show it to us. That's a beautiful oh, little fish. Beautiful little fish. Nice work, brother. Thank you. All right, you letting her go? Let her go. Go ahead. Here she goes. Awesome. Woo. All right, man. Hey, get some good snapper. Let's get four more of those. That's it. Four more. I think that's a snapper. Good job. Yeah, you can boat. Nice work. There he is. All right, we need them bigger than that though. Oh, no. No, no. I got it, I got it. He's running from me. Come here, baby. He's even a little too small. Look how pretty that fish is, ladies and gentlemen. Snapper. Snapper. Oh, snapper. A snap attack. All right. Cap Chris got it one up here. Looks like we got a little snook. It's a 
amazing, amazing to me how patient those birds are. Yeah, look at him. He is so patient, man. Chris is on. Whatever it is, it's a little bit deep. Chrissy Poo's on. Giving you a little pull. Yeah, she's got some lights on. Yeah. Nice. Look how big his eyes are. Oh, yeah. big eyes. Pretty fish. Yeah. He's actually beautiful. Wait for him to shape. Oh, you know he will, oh, man. They got they got a chick from hell too. <laughs> he is healthy. There we go. Snook virginity. Oh, now Chris is hooked up. <laughs> what is that, a baby? Double up. I think it's, it looks like a lady fish is high as he jumps. All right, there we go. Not that bait. Put him in the box because I'm going offshore. I'll use him. Yeah, already got it. Big old Yeah. Grab that fish, man. Grab him like a big old bass. Not near the poisonous barb. I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that that bonnet head? <laughs> you should have seen. That is a big old trout. He hit a shrimp? Yeah. There he is. That's a good one. A good one. There you go. Got a little fight to him. Keeper trout if it was open season. Cause I got that little bitty hook on it. Oh, he swam through some stuff. <laughs> oh, I like catching these things. I really do. that shrimp he was looking for it hard Fish. 
These are these are underestimated, honestly, with how much fun they can be if you sight fish for them on light tackle. All right, Chrissy Poo, gonna grab him. <laughs> Man, he's still green. Yeah, this this wasn't even the big one. This was the baby. Are you? You got him? Yeah, I got him. That don't look like one. That's a bush. Uh, I think he's he's about ready now. Yee-hoo! Look at that pretty little thing. Smile. Hang on. Somebody else Let me help him out here. Alright, buddy. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Nice. Hey, if you, if you were hungry, you'd get a little flay out of that. Alright, ready when you are. Woo! Boom! Shakalaga. Yes, sir. Thank you. Shock week. Hey, guys. We are done. We got off the water here. Cat and Chris showed us a good time. He sent us an invite this uh, morning, which obviously was not what we talked about on camera. Um, but we had a good time. Hey, Zach over here caught an inshore slam. That's what I'm talking about. First snook. You, have you caught a redfish? I have caught a redfish. Okay. And uh, Cat and Chris. He had an inshore slam. You caught multiple snook, multiple redfish. I was just out enjoying the weather. You know, I caught a bonnethead shark. <laughs> and Chris, you know, he caught the catfish. <laughs> no, you caught a catfish too. <laughs> yeah, and Zach. Yeah, but I was going to cut that out. Oh, well, <laughs> not anymore. But hey, man, I really appreciate it. Hey, no guys, problem, man. listen, how can they contact you if they want to go on a charter? That's uh, Chris Pravat, Captain Chris Pravat at Cracker Jack Inshore Charters. Uh, 813-478-7286 and Cracker Jack Fishing at Cracker Jack Fishing on Instagram Instagram and Facebook Cracker Jack Inshore Charters on Facebook there you go so I, again guys I'll leave all of those links down below so you don't have to search for it uh, just click on them go follow the man and also you'll see a, a obviously a great video today and who knows? Stay tuned. There may be a part two. I'm not sure yet. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll see you on the water. Thanks again, buddy.